Hey, what's up, guys? If your ringtone tab isn't showing up on your library in your iTunes, I'll show you how to fix that. But before that, uh, let me just show you a cool new feature that I just found out. Just head on over to zedge.net and you can find these uh, really cool ringtones. And make sure you have your right mobile device selected up here. Once you do, download your ringtones. Let me see. Let me show you uh, one that I downloaded from Zedge. Uh, the file name says .m4r.m4a so what you're gonna have to do is delete the m4a part so it, it only says .m4r, r for ringtone so what you do is you take this file here uh, you get ringtones so you get this file here and then just drag and drop it over to the library and it'll open up another tab called tones that's I'm guessing that's the new ringtones so this is what a lot of people were having difficulty finding the ringtones another way to find this ringtone here is uh, you go to file I'm sorry you go to iTunes preferences and it's right here in tones so that's that and another neat feature if you guys want to have some time stick around just watch is that you can make your own ringtones if you guys want to do that, that what you do is you go here, you pick a song here, you go to get info, and uh, you go to options, make sure that you make a duration of the song that you want, only 30 seconds of it though, nothing more. So once you have 30 seconds, it can even be like 30 to a minute here. I mean, what I mean by that is it can be 30 to say one minute. That's still 30 seconds. So click OK here, and you go to create AAC version, and then right there, it'll create an AAC version here. This is what you're going to convert into a ringtone in a second. But if you don't, if you don't see this thing that says convert. Sorry, if you don't see this thing that says create AAC version, you just go to iTunes preferences, then you go to import settings right here and you can just click AAC encoder right there so once you have that we'll go back to this file that we just created go back to the file sorry about that my mouse is a little messed up so yeah you go to uh, show in finder on well, this file that we just created it's gonna be m4a and we don't want it to be m4a we want it to be m4r for ringtone so what you do is you you can delete that and make it into an R but but you won't be able to just drag and drop this into here because iTunes will recognize that it's already there and won't let you apply it as a ringtone. So what you do is you can go ahead and just copy this, paste it. You can you or you can name it to a different file name, but I just prefer to copy and paste it. And you go back here into ringtones, I mean iTunes, and just delete this. Go ahead and delete it. Move to trash. You go back to this folder. You have this here, the one that we made a copy of. Take the copy, put it over to tones, and it should pop up right here. Just a dream. So again, you want to copy it down to here. You go to tones and drop it into here. And it'll get synced to your phone. And it'll pop up right here. There you go. That's how you get customized ringtone, and that's how you get your tone to be shown in your iTunes. Hope you like this video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.